Hi guys, my name is Gerard with Bobble Fire, and today we're going to do a tour of the fire engine. We'll start up here, the driver's seat. This is where the driver sits. A um, bunch of tools and options up there, a bunch of buttons and all kinds of things that go on in the driver's seat. Back here is where the firefighter sits. We always have a minimum of three firefighters, including driver, lieutenant, firefighter. Sometimes we have four, we have an extra firefighter. This is our air packs. We actually keep them in the seat so that when we're on our way to a fire, we can quickly put it on and be ready to go. This is our headsets. We wear these so that we can hear the radio traffic and we can communicate with each other while we're on our way to a call. Continuing around back. This is what we call the uh, pump panel. This is where the driver gets water to all the hoses. Here's the hoses that we pull, some of them. Um, this thing actually has a 500 gallon tank, so it holds about the size of a small hot tub so that we can be ready to go on scene and then the driver will work on getting more water from a hydrant. This is what we call the engineer's compartment. This is where the engineer or driver keeps all of his tools, anything he might need to help assist with getting water. A few more hand tools, axes, high lift jack, we even got a broom and a squeegee over there for when places get flooded. Fire extinguishers we keep in here. Sometimes that's all we need. Here, this is the extrication compartment for people who need rescuing from a vehicle or anything that includes a rescue. We keep sawzaws. Uh, this is what most people know as, as a uh, jaws of life. So this one here is all electric. So no cords attached, super easy. To open and close, really quick too. Back here is the, uh, the hose bed. This is where we keep all of our hose. Here, let's see, we got a thousand feet for the uh, hydrant, it's for the intake. We got 500 feet of two and a half, two 50 foot sections. Oh my gosh, off the top of my head. Close to 2,000 feet back here. Some more tools for getting the hydrant open and getting water to the engine. So we actually keep our ladders on top of the engine, but they come down, you'll see. So back here we have some controls and we always say ladder down. This way we can access our ladders without having them in the way of all the other compartments. And they just connect right here and we just take them right off Keep a couple extra tools up there as well. Back here we keep our chainsaws. Also a couple other tools, fan and a generator. One of these saws is for cutting roots, the other one is for cutting trees. In both of these we got some extra air pack bottles, just in case we run out and we need a little more. Some more tools for firefighters to use, some rope, uh, a bag for rescuing firefighters who are down in the building or, or in need of extra air. This is our uh, compartment for aid calls. Even though we have an aid car, sometimes the engine goes on aid calls as well. So we keep our aid kit right here, oxygen, and a uh, defibrillator. And this is just another a 
another pump panel for the driver to use as well. Now, something super cool I wanted to show you guys um, that I thought was cool actually ever since I got into the uh, firefighting business was the way we actually check our engines. So on a weekly basis, we check the engine to make sure everything is working good, check the hoses and the belts and whatnot. Now I've already made sure everything's secure inside the cab, but we need to actually check the engine. Flip a couple switches right here. The whole thing will lift up so we can just get under there and check the engine ourselves. Pretty cool. All right, that's it. Thank you, you guys, for coming along for the engine tour. Have a good day.